Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, I will go over three examples on how to normalize a dictionary in the JSON dataset into a tabular format that can be easily analyzed and processed using pandas. So right here I have a dictionary called data. Now if I try to create a data frame object using this data dictionary, and let me go ahead and run the script. If I print the DF object, under the name column, because the values are dictionaries, so I try to convert the uh, data dictionary into a data frame object. The values will automatically convert it to a dictionary as well, except the last record because here we only have a single value, not a dictionary. Now to normalize this data set. So in pandas library, there's a function called JSON normalize. So basically this JSON normalize function will analyze the uh, JSON data set or dictionary and convert the data set into a flat table. So for example, uh, here I can simply pass this uh, data addition into the JSON normalize function. And I'll name the output div clean. And I'll print the div cleaned object. Now if I go and run these two lines, and this time if I look at my output, every single value from the data addition is now converted into a single cell. Now let's look at a different example, which is a more uh, challenging example. All right, so right here, uh, this is uh, a data, data set. And this is what a regular JSON data set is going to look like. So if it list with two records, and each record will have different fields, and from this uh, county fields, we have a list of records that contains uh, two dictionaries, and two dictionaries from uh, the other record. Now, if I go and uh, print this uh, data data set as a data frame object, here I'll run uh, the entire script. And it's going to be uh, the output that we're going to get. So we have four columns state, show name, info, and counties. But for the info column, for each value, uh, we have a dictionary. And for the counties column, we have a list of dictionaries. And because the JSON normalize function is designed to work with JSON data set, I can simply pass the JSON data set to the uh, JSON normalize function. And I'll name this as df2. And I'll run these two lines. From the counties count, we actually have a record, not a dictionary. So from the JSON normalize function, there's a parameter called record path. So we need to uh, specify that based on this uh, data structure. We want to flatten the counties record. We'll pass the counties count label to the record path parameter. Now this time if I rerun these two lines. Once I apply a value to the record path parameter, the function will only return the columns that you specified it based on the record path parameter. Now, to retrieve all the columns, we need to use the metas parameter to specify that uh, based on the entire overall data set, which columns do we want to return. All right, so this is going to be a list. So from this JSON data set, I want to return the state column. Show name count and from the info count because the value is a dictionary. So we need to uh, reference the parent label first, followed by the count name, and which is going to be governor. Let me put this into a new line. And because we already flattened the uh, counties count based on this uh, record path parameter, so we don't have to include those count labels in the uh, meta parameter. Now, if I go ahead and recreate the df2 object. Now, this time, if we look at the output, we now have all the counts into their own individual counts. So this is going to be something I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys find this video useful. And feel free to post your question or your feedback in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.